So you guys know I love to cook. So you knew I was going to bring home a whole bunch of stuff from India. First on the list is my Goan chilies. You guys know I use these in all my dishes. They are high in heat and high in flavor profile. Next up is the Kashmiri chilies. These are medium heat. Then I have the baggy chilies. These are also medium heat. Then I have these. These are another kind of cashmere chili. These also have a medium heat profile, but they give off the best color. This is fresh tamarind. It is so good, so flavorful, way better than what you get at the store. Um, you just soak this in some water and put it in your dishes. Then I have fresh turmeric. I usually like do my own um, spices at home, like grinding and stuff. But this time, the person that we bought the chilies and stuff from the market, he had all these. This is garam masala, then red chili powder. Everybody said it's really good, so we tried a few just to like try them out. And if they're good, next time we know and we will get some. These are tefla. I use these in my fish dishes. They give a lot of flavor to um, the curries for the fish. This, this is dried chutney, guys. This is what I always show you guys. You always ask what it is. You can put this on in soups, mini dishes. Then I got my coriander seeds. I got a huge, huge bag. I use them a lot. And this, I just got one for my mom to try because she asked. This is joggery um, or in India or Hindi, they called god. And then she wanted a masala daba. So I also got her one of those um, so she can put her spices in it. So those two things will be going home with her when she comes to visit. Next up on the list is <laughs> 5 kg of peanuts. So my husband loves these peanuts. He snacks on them all the time. But I got extra this time because I wanted to make fresh peanut butter. Um, I'm trying to go more natural with things and do things more homemade this time. Just to leave out all those preservatives and sugars and bad things that you don't want. So fresh peanuts. Then I got these. These are the curd, the dry curd chilies that you guys always ask about. You can make them yourself. They just take a long time. I got three packs. They should last us for a little while. Um, so they're very, very tasty. You just fry them up. And then these, I forgot to get more, but they're my favorite. They're tapioca sticks. They're all natural. They don't have any preservatives. They're only good for a little while, but they're tasty. These are potato poppered. Oh my God, guys, they are so tasty. Just as a little snack, I got a couple of packets of those. And then this is fresh, fresh um, masala chai made from the tea factory in Goa. And then I got, well, I didn't get, so he got these copper cups from the shop when we were in Terapati. And we got <laughs> me drinking out of them or imitating drinking out of this. Uh, we got two of them, one for him and one for I to drink out of. They have good healing properties for the body. Um, then these, guess what they are? Dried mangoes, guys. There's a lot of dishes, Indian dishes, where you use dried mango powder. So I got those from the market. And then this is what I use all the time. You guys always ask about this too. These are uh, kokum, wet kokum. I got five bags because we use them a lot. They go in curries. They give it that tang. It's like tamarind, but tangier. And then I got these. These are what you call dupe. Um, in Hindu household, they burn them. Um, so we got a couple packs of those. And then let's move on to the seafood. So I got dry shrimp two packets of small and then I got two packets of the larger dry shrimp we make kishmore with them um and different things this is called raggy um it's also called finger millet if you have small kids at home um elderly people that are trying to get their nutrition in guys this is it I got 5 kg and this whopper right here that's heavy <laughs> Is joggery. So joggery is a natural source of sugar. So like it comes from sugar cane. The browner the better. I got a big one of that because I'm not doing any added sugars anymore. Heart dish wants to say hi. So I'm using that sugar instead of white sugar. Um, then we got our dry mackerel. And we got I think three packs of the big mackerel. And these are just dried out in the sun, and then you do kishmore and different things, you know, with them. 
So we got a couple packs of those and then we got a smaller pack of the mackerel too. So not so large. And then we got these. These are called bone bill. When they are alive, they're called Bombay duck. But once you dry them in the sun, they're called bone bill. At first I asked my husband, are these dried drumsticks? <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Bye.